Is their server not overbooked? Um, 215 players. Holy cow. I also don't know how to play this. And I, I don't have... Bastion Chess, thanks for the follow. I don't have an account, but can I play like... Can I just play a game? How much time? Sure, 5, 8, whatever. <laughs> whatever. I don't know how to play. Because I understand that this is not checkers. But I don't understand how to play. Um, yeah, there's something about the side. So, fine. If it's about the side, I'm going to go to the side. <laughs> okay. Then I don't understand any of the tactics. There's like a lot of tactics in this game. And I understand zero of them. So that's going to be an issue, I suppose. I don't know. Maybe you go toward the middle. Any big Drot fans out there that could give me some hints on the, how to do this? If you capture something, you're forced to do it. Yeah, so that's the same as checkers, right? So maybe, like, so if I go here, for example, he has to take me. I don't know the rules either. So I do want to make an account because at some point I might have a battle against National Master Julian Proleco. So now I have to capture. Now I assume there's like tight. So here, jump, jump. I don't know. Like, you know, like this could be a stupid move. Oh no, I get double, double jumped, don't I? Dang. Okay, so that was horrible. Yeah, learning. We're learning. <laughs> you can capture backwards. Um, oh, so if there's like a guy here, I'd be able to like jump and then jump back like that. So I have to capture. But then if there's like a guy here, I could also capture backward, unlike checkers. Also, this board is big. I just noticed. This is way bigger than a checkerboard, right? A checkerboard is an 8x8. So, okay, so he's going to jump here. So I want to set it up. No, that's going to let him double jump me. I mean, I must be busted here. I don't know how it works, but I assume if there's a computer for this game. It's going to say, I don't have any way to actually protect this guy, do I? I would like to go here, but then he's going to double jump me. I'd like to go here, but then he's going to just simple jump me. So... I also don't know how it works, but I assume I am lost. That's my assumption. I can jump more than twice. So that's kind of similar. I'm going to go here because, I don't know, if there's some tactic where he wins lots of stuff. Hopefully this person is equally new to this game. And won't be able to play well. You can jump forever. So I can... I mean, there must be some maximum, because there's a limited number of pieces. I wonder what it is. Go... I don't know. Maybe you don't want to move this stuff on the back, Ranky. Maybe that... Maybe I've weakened my position, but I don't have any positional understanding. Can I... Did I trick him? I was trying to make you capture me so that I can triple jump you. Holy cow! Look at that. I'm going to bloop, bloop, bloop. I'm going to triple jump this guy. Wow. Right? I'm going to go bloop, bloop, bloop. Wait, I have to keep going? Oh, I can keep going! Oh, exciting! How exciting! <laughs> that was better than I thought. A quadruple jump. A quadruple jump. That was exciting. Oh, but then I got double jumped. <laughs> oh, boy. A lot of drama. So, it says it's equal. Thank goodness it tells me the pieces on the board, because I'm not used to counting the number of draughts on a board. So now, this guy's stuck, this guy's stuck. I'm looking for Zugswain. But now, I got all these pieces out. Do I want to rush them out? I suppose I do. But do you need to keep stuff on the back, Ranky? You just tried one of the puzzles, and it's super hard. Yeah, no, it has its own tactics, and I know just from watching other... People. And by other people, I mean one person named Eric Rosen. He did this on his channel one time, and I watched a little bit of it. And, no, there's, like, pawn formation, like, drop formations, not pawn formations, but, like, 
it's not pond structures, but there's some sort of, you know, you want to set up your draughts in a certain way. It's back. All right, we'll go back and we'll play some chess after after this exciting game of draughts. My first game ever. And I don't know. Maybe I need to defend. I don't know what I need to defend against. If I go here, then this guy can sneak in a little bit. I don't know. Let's go in the middle. Got the old uh, the wing winged V formation going on. Hopefully that's a good structure. I wouldn't expect the profile to be fixed for quite some time. Uh, let's go to the middle. Could go to the side. This guy is a big fan of the side. I think there is something to it. There is something to the side in this game. That's kind of... In, like, I just know checkers a little bit. And the thing is... Well, actually, I'm going to go here. So if you go here, I think I can go here. And then I'll always be able to capture you. But, yeah, so pieces on the side can't be captured. So it's nice. It's a nice little sneaky place. Because now this... My guy can never move. You just, like, take me. And then I'd be like, these guys would be stuck. But isn't there something to the middle, too? There's got to be something about the middle. So I have to jump you. I can only single jump you. Then... I don't know. All right, I'm just making random moves. So I'm going to go here. Hopefully limiting what he's capable of. So now, I don't know. I guess I'm going to go here. Feels the safest, but maybe there's something. Once pieces get kind of close, then there's tactics I don't understand. So we'll see. This guy seems to be kind of on the same level as me, because I sort of blundered at the beginning, and then he sort of blundered a bit. Now gonna go here so if I move this I will be able to jump again but I don't know if that's good I don't know so I can go no he's gonna be able to do lots of jumpies I'm gonna get out the way you win this war and if you go in here I'm gonna move one of my pieces I don't know which one I'll go here or here <laughs> now I got the old the W W formation hoping it's a good one Okay, I got an idea. I'm going to go here. So if I can go here, he's got to jump me. I jump back, and then hopefully I run, 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 run. And what happens if I king? That's another thing I don't understand. So I go here. Are there any tactics? I don't even know how to begin looking for tactics. So I'm going to go with the, the reverse pyramid structure now. Hopefully that's a winner. So if I go here, this was my, this was my big plan. Make you take me. I'm going to hop you. And then I'm going to run, 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 and make a king. So you can go backwards. Is it different than checkers? I actually feel like it is different, right? Like kings are more powerful in this game or something. Do they have infinite moves? I think that's what it is, right? Like if I get here, I can like... Whoa! He went backwards! Oh, I didn't see the backwards move. I forgot. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not the backwards jumper. Did not see it. Never could have seen it coming. Never in my life could I have seen that one coming. So now I'm probably losing. If you're down one draught, are you losing? <laughs> Is it like being down a pawn if you're playing a professional chess game? Do you just lose? I'm not really looking at things, so possibly there's some like random move you can play that'll make me lose or something. Um, maybe since we're both bad, the trick is to actually not do anything and wait for them to blunder. It's also kind of true in chess. So you're going to hop me. So I guess i got to get out the way. I don't know. Now you're going to come in here. I think he's sneaking in. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is he sneaking in? No, no, because if he goes there, I take backward. No, 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 no. So he's not at all yet threatening to sneak in. But I... Do want to be cautious? I don't know. 
Is he going to try to lull me away? But then I would make it. Huh. All right, all right, all right. This is intense. I don't know. So is Wayne coming? <laughs> no chess, no life. Good to have you on the stream. It's very possible. I don't see it coming because I don't know what's happening here. Uh, I guess I could calculate the number of moves. Like, he can play here and here. I can play here and here. That's two. And this guy, he's got a lot of potential random moves. But this guy actually can just come here, right? Because then I jump once. He's going to jump back. I guess I should worry about this move. I don't know if there's anything I can do about it. But other than blindly worry about it. I got mate in 54. Um, I guess I can look for tactics. If I go here... He would have to take here. And then I would double jump. Wait a minute. How long has this been here? Isn't this a tactic? Uh-oh. Jump, jump. Oh, but then I have to jump, jump. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Is this going to be a bloop? I can draw arrows. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Oh, my gosh. You're in so much trouble, dude. Boop! I'm going to win my first game ever. I can't wait. I can't wait. So you can't... I was going to say you can't move, but then you did. So now, whoa! All right, I didn't see all that coming. But let's go make a king and see what happens. Somehow they're more powerful, like it can like move really far or something. But I'm probably going to make a king and then somehow blunder it, because like a piece is going to move backwards, I'm not going to see it. Not knowing 100% the king rules. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. King! Now, see, I can go, like, so far. So, like, is going here, like, um, like is going here a good move? I don't know what square that is. It's 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21. Is that king to 21? I, am I going to play the move, whatever square this is? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 to 21? I'm going to do it and see what happens. No, 4 to 18. I don't know the squares. Oh! So did I blow it? Oh, oh, oh! Oh! Never, never could have seen it. <laughs> exactly what I thought would happen did happen. And now, I might just as well lose this game. Thing is, I got this guy that can run, 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 run. So... You are done moving. So if I go here, that guy's done moving. So probably, if you're a professional Drots player, this is horribly upsetting, but I'm kind of a Drots noob. So I'm not really emotionally upset about it. Like, it's not like I just blundered my queen in a chess game. Like, that actually hurts because I know I could have done better. Here, <laughs> just playing random moves. But I have this guy that is free to make 1,000 legal moves. And this is not the chess puzzle, like how many different legal combinations of moves can the king make to get to the back rank. So I'm going to go here, threatening to take. Also, are there any weird rules about... Oh, pfft, there he goes. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. All right. So it's this guy versus this guy. <laughs> I'm so bad at this game. <laughs> I'm so bad. Oh, man. Stop it. Okay, when these things get a little bit closer... I'm going to win the race, though, right? He's going to go one place. I'm going to get the opposition. And then I'm going to take all his pieces. So I think I'm going to win. Despite a few blunders. I made a couple boo-boos. But I was just trying to get to this end game. Wherever you go, opposition! I did it. And now I'm going to take all your pieces. So I probably can pre-move, right? Is this... I'm not going to because I'm going to end up losing. But like if I pre-move here, it'll only work if that's the piece he decides to give up first, right? Like if I pre-move to this square, it's not going to force my guy to go here and I lose all of a sudden, is it? Boop! Yes. I can't believe it. I'm going to win my very first game of draughts. I'm so excited. Boop! Don't forget triangulation. Is that a thing? It might be a... There's probably a lot of terms. I think a lot of the terms are similar to chess. So anyways... That was Lee Drotz. I hope you guys enjoyed. I actually can analyze this with a computer. Here it was equal. <laughs> I'm done.
not going to analyze this very deeply. <laughs> um, can I get the computer report? I don't want to watch the whole thing. I just want to see my embarrassing graft. Ah, he was winning. Super winning. How much of an advantage is winning in Druts? Well, Yeah, imagine this. Everything was fine here. Everything was fine. I found this nice little tactic. Doop. All right, that's when things are going well. Now, apparently, it's equal. It's equal enough. Then we don't know what we're doing, so we make a bunch of random moves, and then I'm... Wait, winning? Plus one, I'm white, right? So... Ah! Big blunder. There was a tactic that I found, like, later. No, that's just some tactic. I'm not smart enough to even explain why that's good. But we can analyze. Because it wins a thing. If you go... If you block, and go here... Then you're, like, forced to go here, and I, like, just win. All right. I mean, yeah, there's, like, a million tactics. So this game is fun. It would require a little bit of research. And then... We're not, we're not gonna analyze this whole game. <laughs> Whoa! I had all the highlights, though. I did the most mega peacetaking stuff. I was good at that. That was kind of my, my key. And then my king move was apparently losing. <laughs> now it's equal again. And at some point, in this end game, Yeah, big blunder there. Big blunder! That was costly. So if he goes here, though, I'm going to go here. Obviously, I'm not smart enough for those other moves. But he's going to go here, and he wins. Oh. I can't, like, just go get a thing. Oh, interesting. He's going to, like, take all my stuff and beat me there. So, yeah. A lot of weird stuff. It would take a lot more to get good at this game. But I like the way that I won it in the end. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed that.